this is Robert Kong. Hey y'all, this is Robert with Armadillo Outdoor Adventures. If you're like me, you got tons of mallard duck decoys laying around, and you don't even use a quarter of them. I get people giving me decoys all the time. Somebody will be cleaning out their garage or their attic and find a box that they hadn't used in years, and it'll either show up on my doorstep, and a week later somebody will say, hey, did you get those decoys I give you? Or Somebody run them by the shop and drop them off. Hey, you want these decoys? I was cleaning the shop out. I didn't have nothing to do with them. I don't need them. Uh, sure, I take them. Sometimes I find them for a few dollars, find the old flambo decoys for a few dollars in antique shops or whatever. Uh, I don't need seven or eight dozen mallard decoys laying around. I just don't need that many mallards. We got too many other species around us. This is a little two-part series showing you how I take all of these mallard decoys and use them for something effective other than a place to keep dust in my shop. With this little video, I'm going to show you how I turn all of these mallard decoys into canvas bags or bluebills. We get quite a few of these divers out here where I'm at. First, let's talk about what we're going to need. Let's have a list of materials. Um, after I tell you about the list, I'll put a list up so that y'all can pause it and write everything down. You'll need paper plates, some masking tape, some paper towels, and a little bit of thinner. You're also going to need silicone. Uh, I use a little tube of silicone, a little clear RTV silicone. Uh, you're going to need some reference materials. I use, I've got a book that uh, goes into a study on diver ducks or whatever ducks. I've got several books on ducks, uh, plenty of pictures. Um, I use some of my higher end uh, decoys as reference and I also use some of my taxidermy work, uh, the mounts on the wall, whatever, to give me reference. Uh, color patterns, feather patterns, whatever I'm going to do for whatever duck that I'm working with. And you're also going to need a sharpie or uh, a number two pencil, a piece of uh, a piece of darker colored chalk, just something to kind of mark reference points on these decoys with. Another thing we're going to need is spray paint. Um, here's a list of spray paints. I'm also going to set the list of spray paints up. You're going to need flat white, flat black, and gray primer. You're also going to need yellow. You're also going to need some clear. For the bluebill, I use a hunter green, and I also use a little bit of uh, gold leaf colored. Uh, and for the canvas back, I use a burgundy or maroon color. You can buy all of these. I buy them all at Ace Hardware. They've got a hobby aisle that I get a little can. I get this small can. It's about this tall. Spray paint of the gold leaf that lasts forever. <laughs> hold the, the duck upside down and spray the burgundy color on the head. Just on the head, not the breast section. Um, don't spray it so thick. I just dust it 
with burgundy. Don't spray it so thick that you can't see the black shining through. You just need a, uh, a good hint of the maroon color, the burgundy color. Try not to get any on the bill. If you do, it's not a big deal. We can fix that. If you do get some on the bill, we can take our template, which you'll see how I cut later uh, when I do the blue bills. You can cover the head and, and paint the bill black. Uh, just fix it, it's not that big of a deal. Once you got the burgundy color, the black and the white, I paint the middle of the back, the top of the middle of the back, right where, um, if you're looking straight down on the, the duck, you can see the very top of the middle of the back with a little gray patch, just dust it lightly with the primer gray. Uh, there's not much to the canvas bag. There's a little gray, a little black, a little white, and a little bit of burgundy. Then I dust it with the clear. The, the clear seals the color in. It keeps you from scratching them when they're in the decoy bag and bouncing around together. I just dust it a little bit. You don't want it to be shiny. You just want enough clear on it to keep it from getting all scratched up and knocking all your paint off in the decoy bag. I hit it just a little heavier on the head. I hit all these ducks a little heavier on the head just because you've got uh, a blending of paints. you got, uh, in this case, the maroon or the burgundy and the black. And you hit it with the clear, it kind of pops a little bit. Uh, after that, the canvas back is done. There's not much to it. down if possible. Um, in some of these videos you'll see where I had them right side up but I had to make a little bib to, to keep the breast from getting green or, or, or burgundy whatever. Um, but I try to paint the head section with the hunter green. Uh, just dust it just like the canvas back. Dust it where you can still see the black shine it through But you've got a hint of green where you, when you see it you see a blackish green color the same way with the canvas back You see a blackish burgundy color uh, After that on the bluebill you want to just lightly ever so lightly if you can see it. It's too much uh, Ever so lightly and you'll have to experiment to see what works. I dust it with the gold leaf. Uh, ever so lightly dust it with the gold leaf. Trust me, just ever so lightly hit it with the gold leaf. Then I take my template that I made. You can see in the video how, in the little clip, how I've, I've cut a little shape out of the paper plate. Uh, I cover the head, I spray the bill gray. Then I cut a notch out of the other side of the paper plate, just a V-shaped notch. And I use that to paint the bill with the, I use this V-shaped notch to paint the, the nail on the bill black. If you'll notice even on a mallard or any of these ducks, a lot of these ducks, not all of them have the nail a different color. The nail on a mallard is when the, the bill is yellow, there's a little black section on the front of his bill. That's called the nail. Uh, if you paint that part black on this one, just like a mallard with a gray bill and a black nail, it'll look just right. With the blue bill, he has yellow eyes. I cut me a little hole in this paper plate right in the middle. I covered the head up and dust the eyeball yellow of this thing. Um, 
You can come back later after it's dried and put the, the pupil of the eyeball in with your Sharpie. Uh, but I, I paint his eyes yellow. That's very important to these. They have a, an eye that stands out. After that, I dust him with the clear. Um, lightly dust him all over. That seals it in and keeps you from scratching him. If you hit the head just a little bit heavier than you did the other, you don't want a shiny duck. You do not want a shiny duck decoy. But you want enough clear on it to make all of the colors blend. Um, if you take the clear, you dust him just right, it'll sure make that green, that gold, and that black pop. It'll really look good. Um, trust me try it you'll have to experiment with it you may have to paint your first couple of decoys two or three four times um, I always 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 let them sit about 10 12 minutes between colors so that they dry um, when you put your clear on the bluebill that you paint I a do. little patch in the middle of the back with your primer gray you need that little patch of gray it doesn't need to be real prevalent, but you need just a little bit of, of gray. Um, the, the clips will show you what I'm talking about. Please watch the whole video before you ever start. little clip that I'm fixing to show you you can see my painted mallards next to some some GHG decoys I've got a canvas back and I've also got a uh, bluebill check it out you can see mine do pretty good they pop out like they should they look really well up against these GHGs <laughs> Thanks for stopping by. All criticism is welcome. Please remember that there are ladies and children watching, so keep it clean. Please remember to shake the hand of a veteran, police officer, or an emergency worker if you get the chance. Thanks again. I'll see you on the water.